Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. Mm -hmm. And today we have a kind of themed night. We're going to be playing some Atari 8-bit games. They are part of a contest, a 10-liner contest. Mm -hmm. um, that Vitoko takes part in every Yay. year. It's the expert of 10-line <clears throat> games. So we've got a whole bunch of tiny games to play, including Jumpman, Beatles, Coordinator, Sweeper, Pick the Star, Tic-Tac-Toe, Star Runner, and added an extra one, uh, Cracky by Inufuto. Nice. It's the Japanese game developer that does cross-platform development nice. for a whole bunch of 8-bit uh, systems. Excellent. Uh, <coughs> want to thank all the Twitch subscribers. Welcome. Um, scrolling down the side there. It is a strange cat cam. I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> wow, what is going on with that? Let's try and fix that cat cam. Looks like it froze at uh, some point. <laughs> That's very funny. Yay! Yay! The cats are back. Probably when I like turned on something or turned off something. Oh, that yeah. is funny. Thank Minus. you, Vitoko. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, thank you for subscribing, 800 XL Rules. Mm -hmm. Resubscribing. Uh, and the other Twitch subscribers, scrolling down, are yes. Alan the Firm, Scar Coder, Atari Dender, XL Rules, like I said, Atari Night 74, Atari HB Bar, Pocop, Chal Sedani Mao, Charles and Check, Charles Wheeling, Colonel Lama, Cubanismo, Dan ABC, DJ Justy, Drifting Snow, Dr. Moo Cows, Great Offender, Gretem's Ground Trooper, Ozure Rapper 2600, Johnny WC, Caputo, Ken Caputo Kenzo. Carl G, Ken Jennings Invader, Croco 2600, Caveltiver, Lambda Express, Large DZ, Leo Delau, Mark Yannis, Mark Spacing, Melatari, Mick Muse, Mike Sol, Mike Littell, Mr. Zarno, Mr. Fix, Nostalgic, Pack Rat, Quahog, R, Raymond C, RC70, Rendered Ghost, Repellent SV, G, Ricardo Pim, Smitty B, Spice, Whereas Ramirez, Teleprompter, D Train, Welshman, Tiki Dan K, Trek MD, VVG, Double Down. That's a new name. Uh, and X Ken X. Yay. And if you would like your name scrolling there and me to read it out, and you get rid of ads too. Yeah. It's free with Amazon Prime. Just click subscribe. Make sure you link up your Amazon Prime account. Oh, he's feisty. <laughs> um, uh, let's get to the news. Um, there is a very cool. Um, is it? Yeah, there's a. Uh, I watch some speed running, not channels. There's stuff on my face. Yeah, there is. He just literally just like finished. shoveled oh past it into his mouth. Yeah, turned though. to me. Yeah, right there. You get it? Yeah, Good? it's gone. Okay. You guys <laughs> can't see it. Um, <laughs> it was gonna bug me all. Show, there's so. a um, speed running <clears throat> channel. Mm -hmm. And they kind of feature more, well, a lot of speedrunning channels feature retro games, but mm -hmm. this one features retro, retro games, not, not asteroids, but some no. uh, homebrew that I, that I focused on the homebrew. Mm -hmm. And I went through their channel, look for all the homebrew that they have on there. Uh, Crazy Balloon, Doggone It, Halo 2600, mm -hmm. Peril, Princess Rescue, uh, Slide Boy Maze Land, Super 3D Portal 6. And even Atari 7800 stuff. Mm. Uh, Night Guy in Low Res World, Castle Days, Slide Boys in Maze Land. And um, actually, let's take a look at this one. Hey, thank you for subscribing, Metal Atari. Thank you so much <clears throat> for supporting us. Um, no, no, not yet. So let's take a look at this one. There it is. Oh, searching for it. Um, This one is Princess Rescue. There's a one with uh, that allows deaths. This one is no death. And there's an exploit you can do in Princess Rescue where you can get ahead further in the game by dying than oh, you funny. can by playing. By it. playing? Does it shift you forward in time? Yes. Yeah. Um, it's really weird. Yeah. So, you, so in the dying one, the person dies, dies, dies. And, and oh, then funny. they get pushed to the next level. Oh, funny. Um, just making sure it's not too loud. Um, and they just added the Atari 2600 game Secret Collect two days ago as well. But I watch some, not speedrunning channels, but speedrunning analysis. Documentaries. Documentaries, yes. mini yes. documentaries. Yes. 
uh, by Carl Jost and also Summoning Salt. Summoning those are the Salt. Huge yeah. ones. Yeah, yeah. So if you know anything about speedrunning, you'll definitely know about those. <laughs> Summoning Salt, especially, yeah. And I just like them doing analysis and historical uh, speedrunning yeah. stuff. And I thought, oh my God, this is a, probably a very overlooked segment. Of speedrunning? Of speedrunning. Yeah. Um, but this is um, tool assisted speedrunning. Gotcha. Which means they have 100% pretty much 100% optimized the game mm. um, because they're using a computer. If they make a mistake, they go back, try and optimize it perfectly. So these nice. aren't people necessarily playing this. They may have people playing this, then optimize it later. Gotcha. But this is usually the tool assisted speed runs are unbeatable by a by a human. By a Usually human. a human yeah. can't do the tool assisted. Interesting. But it's more like an exercise in like, oh, how good can it be? How, what is the absolute fastest you can do it? Yes. Yeah. And oh, and it's hey. also something maybe for like humans to aspire to. It's like, yeah. oh, well, gotcha. you can do this if you get exact perfect timing. And it's also a way to figure out strategies as oh. well. Um, but I thought that was uh, kind of cool to see um, the systems that we play represented there. Yeah really cool uh the next one is uh somebody in the forums is um there we go is making a game the the title is using chat gpt4 to help with atari 2600 oh, game funny. development okay so akashic record is doing this nice i've been going along for a long time i've been going for I've been gone for a long while, but I'd like to revisit my plans for an Atari 2600 Tetris game, mm, eventually becoming two-player co-op. I've recently been looking to ChatGPT4, which is the newest version of yeah. it, uh, for AI-assisted game development, and I've seen lots of videos on people... Trying to... Creating games. Yeah, yeah, saying, oh, here's my concept, this is the platform, this is the language I want you to make it in, yeah. and it'll spit out some code. Yeah. Is it useful code? Well, wow. and have been utterly blown away by how coherent this tool actually is. Here's yeah. a snippet of GPT-4 prompting, asking for general code outline to work as a boilerplate or template for the Tetris game. Wow. Let's see if we can finish this thing. And uh, they put in, can you generate a brief outline of the program code structure showing how the game functions might be organized in a concise and logical way? Emit the actual code blocks, blah, 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 blah. And I obviously was talking with it before this because this yeah. is outputting uh, machine uh, code. Uh, very, very high levels. Just got some jump to subroutines and some return mm. from subroutines. Um, um, and then they delve into, you know, into the details of it. Um, that's just making a summary. He got also some AI generated Art? Uh, art. Ooh. So he's really going for completely AI generated game from okay. scratch, even the artwork. Really? That's which, is, kinda, which is an interesting is exercise, interesting. especially for the 2600. Yeah. And then he starts asking for okay, do um, a basic um, screen okay. for the 2600. Nothing actually mm -hmm. on the screen, mm -hmm. just uh, um, the core of uh, to to draw a screen with nothing on it. And um, it makes some mistakes. Oh, actually, there I think it's OK, because there's a million of those posted. Mm -hmm. uh, and it continues on. There we go. He's got, oh, funny. It's got the artwork already picked one. And uh, Andrew Davey pointed out that there's a command in there that does doesn't not exist. doesn't exist. <laughs> wow. But it says it's doing well. Yeah. So it, it does need to be supervised. <laughs> Like uh, most most uh, tools do, yeah. And then and then um, they said, "Oh, you that's not a, an error." And it always goes, "I'm sorry, uh, uh -huh. let me fix that for uh -huh. you." Um, and asks for uh, alternative ways to clear the RAM. Mm -hmm. um, and let's just go down to what and he and he continues on. So this is an ongoing project. He's taking on parts of it bit by bit. It's like, mm -hmm. oh, you know. How do you draw it on the screen? How do you do the joystick handling? What's the, what's the code for this? Rather than just saying, please write me the whole, the whole game at once. Um, so Andrew Davies said the problem with Chat GPT and programming is that it gets a lot right. Mm -hmm. 
but is absolutely confident about the things it gets wrong. Yeah. And you really have to know what you're doing to spot this stuff, mm -hmm. in which case you might as well have written it yourself. <laughs> yeah. And RC70 points out the STX is valid on a 65 uh, CO2, which yeah. is not what the, the, the 2600 no. is running. So it's not dialed Entirely, quite in it's, yeah. it's just taking code from yeah. say another platform where it would be a valid command yeah and it's just not it doesn't know yeah um, well it makes stuff up we were listening to a podcast the other day where an expert was talking oh, yeah. about how if if it can't find an answer it fills in blanks mm -hmm. but it could be filling it in complete like with complete conjecture which is completely wrong yes um which is interesting it's interesting Still how it interesting. functions yeah. and what it comes up with but do not expect it to be truthful or correct no it's no. just a, a language model it's, spitting out stuff based on what it thinks should follow this thing it's already said yeah it's 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 all based on um correlation between things right yeah. and correlation does not necessarily mean causation or truthfulness like it, it's just correlation it, it has no idea and and it can't about what it's saying it just yeah. knows what it should say next and it's just making correlations right so yeah, yeah interesting um and and andrew davis says that as well it's amazing yes even more so that i understand it it's just a predictive word generator yes and doesn't have some grand plan to design it advance the stuff it spits out remarkable but we have to be very careful no. about using believing what it tells yeah tells us and it does do very interesting stuff yeah um and it's and there's many many examples on the on the internet about it writing uh code mm -hmm. and writing paragraphs and <clears throat> it, there's some cool stuff coming out from it but don't be fooled that it's thinking <laughs> it's it's not thinking at all it has no idea what it's spitting out it's not going into any depth about what it's thinking about it's yeah. not even it's not thinking at all yeah. it's, it's a very very dumb program yeah but it's very interesting and yeah, how it from, functions. from the things that we've watched it's it's a building it's one part of ai yes it's it's the language it's model a, of not, ai it's not a neurological model no. it's just a language model so, yeah so yeah. it doesn't it's not conscious of what it's saying yeah yet it's it's just a part it's like oh it's very good at structure of language yeah it's very good at predicting what's coming next but yeah. it has no idea what it's doing yeah and i think the best example that i saw recently it's like uh how many words are there in this question and your answer and it spits out there are 52 words in your question and my answer and it was nowhere near 52. so it does not it can't look forward and backwards. It only is going forwards, only forwards, going forwards, forwards. Mm. So it's so there's there's more to come for that. Mm. Um, and and it's it's fascinating just seeing the evolution of it because it's mm. it, it's it is pretty cool. Um, so Dan AVC has started up uh, as he does every year uh, after the Atari Homebrew Awards. His uh, Harmony Games have started nice uh first round is elevator agent mm -hmm. and game of the bear too much to bear um let me bring those over and show you them and in the past we have participated we're on break right now so don't know if we'll be able to have time so he does work in progress original and mm -hmm. i think work in progress port mm -hmm. in conjunction um, so Game of the Bear, Too Much to Bear. Uh, no entries yet on that one, but there are some entries. There are no on... entries on Game of the Bear, Too Much to Bear? Yeah, not yet. Oh, we're going to have to throw some scores in there. <laughs> well, when? When there's time. When there's time. <laughs> and uh, Latome has uh, put an entry in for Elevator nice. Agent. Nice, 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 um, nice. I was like, and, and also uh, John Shampo has given some of tips on nice. the different scores that you can get for the different things. Mm -hmm. 100 points for shooting an enemy. Now, I, I loaded up really quickly last night. Okay. And I was like, okay, let's see all the scores and how it works. Elevator agent, you can just sit there and keep shooting. <laughs> yeah. Or it can be on an elevator so you have some some movement mm. to get away from. It's a long slog. Oh, yeah. Getting that's 100 true. points at a time. That's true. But you, you can just get do it infinitely. And infinitely. Just... There's no timer on the game. 
Yeah. So yeah, you can just a farm points in yeah. that game, unfortunately. It's about who, who is going to go the longest. Yeah. Um, but you get 300 points for squashing an enemy, and that's the highest amount of points you can get infinitely. Um, you do get 500 points for collecting secret documents, okay. but those are finite. There's only okay. so many on the level. And you get 1,000 to 4,000 for clearing a level. I think it's uh, random. That's your fastest way to do it. But, it but just you're only going to get sucks. so many. And yeah. there's only four levels in the demo. Okay. So you'll get 4,000 to 16,000 as the base. Yeah. And then 500 for the documents. I don't know how many there are. Okay. Another couple thousand there. Hmm. Um, and then you just, you're just... Farming those points. Farming for points. So Latom has put in 32,250. Mm. Um, 35,200, 35,250, yeah. Nice. Um, so after completing level four. So you have to stop wow. at level four because it loops back around. Gotcha. Um, yeah, so <clears throat> that's one of those games where you just sit there and squash enemies okay. over and over. Squash, squash. <laughs> and I found if you... Stay on a screen, because they'll just keep randomly appearing. But they'll yeah. randomly appear on multiple levels. Okay. So what I found is you sit on a screen where they are able to... And you sit on the side of the screen, and you and you go where they're able to come down or up to you at all times. Mm. And you just hold down the fire button. Yeah. If you have an auto-fire joystick, Yeah. you don't need to move. Oh, no. So I was tempted to put something on, <laughs> yeah. on like, through the emulator... <laughs> and put something on the um, space bar to just keep firing and see what score would rack up overnight. Wow. And you could do that on an actual um, 2600 as well by putting an elastic band on the fire button and getting an auto-fire joystick. So it's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, one's, that one's a bit tough. Um, but for the other game... Um, Game of the Bear, too much. Game to bear. of the Bear, too much to bear. That one I think is a time-based one. It is where so, you have to go fast to get yeah, the score. So yeah. that one is a bit more yeah. Yeah, challenging. Even getting through it all in one go. Yeah, yeah. that too as yeah. well. Yeah. Um, but nice. if you are one of those people who loves to get high scores and challenge yourself, there you go. There you go. Um, check it out. I will send you the. I'll post. Let me post paste that in there. After level four is completed, it resets to level one. So if you complete level four, that's it. Yeah. So when you want to, yeah, you, you want to go to level four, mm -hmm. but that's, that's where you have to stop. So let me just paste that in there. Oh, 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 did I, yeah, I pressed alt. There we go. The window's fine. Harmony Games. Um, and I believe Dan can confirm that he is adding 7,800 games this year. So he's branching out from the 2600 for the high scores, maybe? You can confirm in the chat. Nice. Um, <clears throat> so, on to what we're doing today. The All these games that we're going to be playing today are from the 2023 Basic 10 Liner Contest. Mm. Uh, another contest. Um, and we, uh, every year for the past couple of years, hold still. There. Here. Both have stuff from eating. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. we've played the games, all the entries, no, I got it. No, no. Uh, all, all the entries for Atari yeah. each year. Mm -hmm. And this year there are seven games mm -hmm. for the Atari 8-bit. And so we're going to be playing the, those tonight mm. and, uh, see what we think. Now, these are games that are made in 10 lines. Um, and a line can be different number of characters and they've broken it down into the different categories because the line can be X long or X long or X long, but it's still limited to 10 lines in basic okay. on whatever platform you're on and they allow more than atari as well uh you know zx spectrum commodore 64 nice. here. um I like that. what's that it's the oh i can't remember right now texas instruments uh, yeah and some other ones um <laughs> it's that time of year when we get all excited about basic Yay, but only basic. if it's restricted to 10 lines of code <laughs> uh, once again you can show off your skill in writing compact basic code for the 2023 basic 10 liner contest which as of this article is already on and waiting for your entries mm. the rules are the same as last year uh legal systems all 8-bit computer systems so it doesn't even matter and authorized basic dialects because i'm guessing there are some 
aftermarket basics that allow for mm. longer things or more powerful or whatever. So they, I guess, they so have to restrict only it. authorized basic dialects. Only the authorized, not the unauthorized ones. Um, so here are the categories: PUR eighty. Program a game in 10 lines, maximum 80 characters per logical line. Abbreviations are allowed. Um, in this category, only factory built-in basic variants are allowed. I'm guessing that's why it's pure 80. Mm -hmm. So it's like just the normal stuff. Uh, and then 120. 120, 120 characters. Abbreviations allowed. <clears throat> Extreme, Extreme 256. <laughs> um, and these are using aftermarket basic Okay. I'm guessing I think this is the only one that you have to use the built-in basic. Uh, Extreme 256, 256 characters, mm -hmm. and SCHAU, code a program in 10 lines, max 256, uh, program could be a demo, tool, or application. So these are games, mm -hmm. and then you can also make whatever you want. Nice. Yep. Um, so this opened on February 1st. Okay. And the Close deadline the was three days ago. Oh, okay. And that's why we're playing them, because I wanted nice. to make sure we didn't miss any. No. So I wanted to do it after the deadline. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so the deadline's done, and the award ceremony is in a couple days. Oh, nice. On April 1st. Nice. Um, at the No M-A-M um, get-together, I guess, <laughs> <laughs> event. Yep. Um, and you can go over to the official page, which has looks a little broken because it's too zoomed in and it's all in German so that's good we read it oh no <laughs> here it is uh, English. Um, pretty much the same thing they um, just uh, summarized it there okay so let's uh, see if I have any other notes mm -hmm. no I think we will get to the games now I am having trouble running basic on my computer. I don't know why. It's street oh, no. time. Basic. Yum. Oh, oh yum, yay, yum, good yum. morning. Timing. Thank you, Atari 800. And I can complain about my uh, okay. lack of basic. Your lack of basic. Luckily, uh, you found most a, a workaround? The, six out of the seven games have been compiled. Okay. So I don't need to run them in basic. But one game is not a compiled game. So I can't run it at the moment because I can't get basic installed oh, or basic going okay. usually it's by default you have basic running um oh and good. you have gray to cat. press one the, for the gray cat sorry oh, press the option oh he didn't close the door he's oh, running no. away uh, i heard that i heard that one to one do you have an xegs no mine's broken unfortunately oh. i can pull out my uh ntsc computer so i will do that but i'll leave that game there to last go. so i can just power through the other ones no nope, i'm closing the door it's closing. no escape no, no escape. escape for cats okay. okay was that two that's two to one. Oh, i'm gonna go big for the cat cam there we come go come on come on you can do it i'm losing my voice thank you oh. 800 xl rules three to two three to two for the Sprite as per usual. Four, Four to, two to two for, for Sprite. Sprite. Turn it over there. Oh, she's making it hard. Not that hard. Not that. He found it pretty quick. He's Four. pretty good. Four to two. Four to come on. Four to three. Good Atari. NTSC 800 XL with paddles. I do have that. Oh, you so keep we will, missing we'll do it, that. little guy. <gasps> four oh, to four. Four to four. Wow, Atari. Atari. Good job. Oh, there oh, we five, go. Five four. Five four for Sprite. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Do it. Get it. We didn't hear it. <gasps> five five. It's all tied up. Tari's holding his own today. Oh, six, six five. five. Sprite's just a little bit ahead. Oh, referee is interfering. <laughs> Putting a little bit of a handicap in there. Six six now. Six all, but Sprite's just <laughs> seven. ahead. Seven six. Sprite learned to chew a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. He slowed down. That tail is much. It is. It's. It, it is so fluffy. Every day gets fluff. Wait, seven, who did seven. that? Seven seven. Seven seven. Oh my yep. goodness. Sprite? And Sprite is just not. Oh eight seven. He's still going. Oh oh. Terry's having a bit of trouble. He's stuck in his teeth. Oh, 9-7. Oh, no. 
Come on, Atari. Come on, Atari. Nine eight. Nine eight. You have a chance. You have a chance. Sprite is befuddled. He can't find his treat. I threw it a little far. <laughs> He's looking around for it. Come on. It's nine eight. Nine eight. Atari. Tie it up. Tie it up, Atari. Come on. Oh. <gasps> nine, nine nine. It is game point. A I game can't believe point. it. Sprite is still <laughs> looking for his treat. He is not giving up on his treat. Oh. Oh, and he's he has given up. He's coming to the bell. Oh. oh that didn't make a sound. Oh. Oh, oh it's, a tie. it's a tie! A dead heat. <laughs> they both win. Good Actually, ladies. it's 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 uh, overtime now. It's uh, oh. Is oh it? yeah, it's overtime. Okay. They both rang the bell. Oh, oh Sprite, Sprite wins. Sprite pulls ahead. Well, I'm gonna call it a tie because it was a tie. True. But good kitties. Very good kitties. Wow, good kitties. Sprite good won job. in OT. Yeah. Good kitties. Okay, I'll open the door for you now. It's alright if you want it. Rubs it in by using a tarry spell. <laughs> yeah. Bing. Do, 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 bing. <laughs> good kitties. Uh, <laughs> illegal bell just to rub it in. That was a good one. That was that a was good a one. Really good one. <laughs> okay. So the first game we're going to be playing yes. is Jumpman. Ooh, okay. Not the Jumpman you think of it. Okay. Um, and this is uh, by Eric Carr, mm -hmm. um, who's now on the Atari Age forums as The Carr. Uh, posted on March 6th. It's a, it's a 4K game. I'm, that does not really relevant because they're all 10 lines. Um, oh, I don't have noted down which... Uh, entry they're in whether they're in the 80 or 120 i'm gonna have to go look that up um so let's load that up and i'm gonna load it um okay one second i'm gonna show everybody what i'm dealing with and what what's not happening oh, no. so maybe somebody can help me <laughs> um so i'm running a pal system Okay. It has uh, U1MB installed on it. I don't know what that is, but okay. It that means it has one meg of oh, memory. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, it also has VBXE, which is a video card. Okay. Uh, I'm running AVG Cart and also Fuji if I need to. Um, so let's just start from scratch. People can see. So it loads the white U, U1MB. Mm -hmm. And uh, so here it is. And Vitoko made um, a menu system and put all the games in the menu system. Awesome. And that's what that is. Excellent. Um, so you should run that and it should bring up a menu and you just select which game you want to play. Okay. It does not do that. <laughs> oh. Because for some reason, Basic is not running on this system. Oh. I can't get it running. Hmm. Um, so I'll show you what it does. So it does that, autorun.bas, but I think that fails, and it's not showing that it fails. Then it goes to this menu. Oh, this is not the menu this you're is talking not, about. This is not his. I'm like, it would be hilarious if it worked on stream. Yes, but this is his. Gotcha. Yeah, that would be amazing. Yeah. So this is not his menu. This is Disc Operating, disc operating System, system. 2, version 2.5 oh, no. menu. So uh, let's reboot, and I'll show you... Um, so I go into U1MB and go over to here. Mm. And it was disabled before, but I did enable it. Okay. So basic should be enabled now. Um, but if anybody sees anything else that is still preventing basic from running, mm. please let me know. Let me go to the first one. There's nothing there. No media. No, none of that. Unmount ADRs, ADR swap, disk refresh. Chat is quiet so far. <laughs> They're watching. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I don't know if any of these other things. Yeah. Hmm. I am. Um, but anyway. Uh, is there a phone number on the back of that console that you can call? <laughs> I don't think they would. You can give it a try. If it goes back in time, then they would be like, a U, uh, U1 MB what? <laughs> they wouldn't know. They'd be like, take all that stuff out of your computer. Get it working normally. But anyway, I, I, am, I am able to run these by hand. 
by hand. I'm, I'm picturing a hand crank. Yes. It's running. It's so running. I just go like, I use this menu. Okay. Go binary load. And then I just type it in. J -M -P -A -L oh. J-M-P-A-L dot X. Then it'll run because it's a binary. Okay. So well, basic is, uh, that works. It does. It'll get us through six out of the seven games. Okay. Just one game you're having trouble with. Yes, because it's Thank actually you. in basic, and you're okay. running it in basic. Gotcha. That's that's the that's the issue with that one. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, Jumpman, uh, how to play? This is a randomly generated endless scroller where Jumpman runs automatically, and you control his jumping. Uh, I did that. It does exactly the same thing on the FujiNet. Mm. Um, thank you, Vitoko. Please keep the uh, uh, suggestions coming because we'll try them out. Yeah. Um, and you control his jumping. Okay. Go as far as you can to make the highest score. Every 200 points, the level changes. Hey, hey, hey. I'll get it for you. It went under the computer. Oh, technically, he didn't win then. He didn't get one of his strings. Oh, well, you threw it under the computer where he couldn't even get it. I didn't. He probably knocked it <laughs> under there. Maybe. Go as far as you can to make the highest score. Every 200 mm -hmm. points, the level changes, gets harder. One, only the button, uh, joystick button is used. Okay. Press the jump button to jump. Hold the button to jump higher. Okay. Jump man runs automatically. Mm -hmm. The game ends if you fall off the screen. Okay. Oh, gosh. And that is actually the original name of Mario is Jump Man. Yes, I remember that. Oh, okay, I gotta <laughs> hit that. Score 40. Ugh. It is a hard game, by the it way. It is hard. <laughs> Cat cam's frozen. Oh, come on. That's really weird. I'll fix it. Oh, it changes every time. Okay. Yeah, so. You cannot yeah. learn the pattern. There's no pattern. It is. Pretty good. 110. 110. Almost made it to the next, uh, next level. Sorry. <laughs> Spitting out. Sound is a bit ahead. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Cat cam is frozen again. Is no, it? No, no. 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 I, I, I fixed it already. I, oh. I, read, I read that out. <laughs> and I fixed it already. today you might notice I'm yeah, a little croaky turn. no one more one more <laughs> a little croaky oh jeez <laughs> a 20 mm. is it based on just how many jumps or how long you go for? how long you go for oh my god yeah. what a big jump the big jumps are what get you you have to anticipate that somehow when you can't even see it on the screen yet oh my god maybe you're supposed to go for every platform like, just try and make sure you don't jump too far. I think that's what Oh, that it. was cheap. Oh. That was that was too easy. <laughs> you got long a nice long stretches. stretch in there. Does it sound good now? Nice music. Oh. I like that you got the music going in the background, This is too. absolutely astounding for it, ten it lines. It looks fantastic. I can't believe this is ten lines. This is extreme. Extreme 256. That's okay, that makes sense. Oh. Wow. Yeah, I think the best tactic is to make sure you jump on everything because you don't know yeah. where your next platform is going to be. Ah. 110. Tied. And it gave up. What the hell? <laughs> I'm going to run that again. I'm not done with it. You ready to play some jump in? Can you smack the bell? You what? Hmm? Can you smack the button? It's a one button game. You yeah, could try. Cats can play. Come on. Oh, in my spot. Cats are always in your spot because they go for mm -hmm. the warmth, don't you? Yes. Oh, overshot it. Yep. You really do have to hit everything, don't you? I think that's the best way to do it. Sometimes. Ooh. Oh, oh, 
Oh, so just close. shy. Just shy. Oops. No, that didn't quite work. Black cat, what are you up to? He's trouble. Oh, oh boy, look you, at those. Yeah, yeah. You almost want to jump. Mm. Really smart. Oh. Especially that it's random, too. I mean, it has to be random yeah. for, to fit in a, a 10 line, because they wouldn't be able to... Oh. Well, not necessarily. You could use LSFR. Oh, come on. LS? Um, and, or generate it from the code of the game so that it is always the same. Okay, my turn. No, I'm... Mm. <laughs> Oh. Cut myself off. I don't quite jump. You can do the next one. I don't quite jump high enough for some of those. Yeah, you have to hold it down. Because I, I'm right so amount. scared I'm going to overshoot it. And I just run right into it. That I find oh, hard. Damn it. That's, 160. that's so hard. So close. Yeah. But you do get like. Oh, that's hard. That's the the hard. pipe with a big gap. Oh. oh, yeah, that's hard. You have to hold it down, but not for too long. Seed the RNG. Yeah, you could. You could do that as well. And and I'm saying seed it with, like, the code of the game. Um, just like... Um, damn it. Um... Is everything Yars I get ad addicted to? Yep, you just you're just playing it continuously. <laughs> like Yars Revenge uses the code for the the force field, mm -hmm. or you could do something like um, oh my god, what a crazy jump, uh, pitfall. Where? Why does it do that? Why does it, it kick like out? You. It doesn't like you at all. There's some sort of uh, overflow. Says you've been playing for too long. It's it's it's, it's Tanya's turn to play. <clears throat> raspy voice now. This is everything I'd get addicted to. Yes. <laughs> and that's why we keep playing it because it's oh it's it I just I just don't want to overshoot it. Oh sometimes yeah. Just no seed enough. here uses pokey chip random number generator. Okay. Mm. I think if you do hold down the button, even if you hit the side of it, it'll go up the side. So I don't think you can hit your head on the bottom of it. Oh, thing. come on! <laughs> oh, oh. I just, I just over-anticipate things. Oh, come on. <laughs> Oof. Oh, boy. That's, that's not what... <laughs> no, that was very mean. Very mean layout. Oh. I just need to play this for the next two hours, and then I'll get really good at it. Oh, my voice. Your voice is affecting your gameplay? It is. 100%. <laughs> oh, come on. Um, yeah, I was talking for like three hours today. Mm. I'm a little scared I might be sick too, but Ooh. we'll see. Hopefully it's just the talking. I hope it's just and the talking. And not a coincidence that it's the talking. Yeah, or the talking just brought out the illness. Oh, maybe. Good one. Oh, 140. That was good. Very good. Oh, somebody's got a Mario. Uh, yeah, nice rendered ghost. From the uh, live TV show. Oh, the TV show? Yeah, with yeah. Captain Lou Albano. Hey, coming out, or did they come out with a live one? Uh, the... Is that the real? New? Yeah. The, oh, it, no, it is very real. Oh, okay. Not not the live one, but the, um, the new movie. Oh, movie. Is it animated? Yes. With um, Chris Pratt, right? Yes. Something like that? Uh, okay. Oh, just made it. No, it's terrible. That Look was that. excellent. Oh, excellent. it was, but I didn't make it 200. I want to see what happens. Oh, come on. Ahoy, Anthony Helms. Hey, Helms. ahoy. Anthony Helms. Sorry. 
I almost had that one, yeah. Yeah, it was so close. Uh. Then it throws like really hard patterns at you. No! <laughs> <laughs> really hard patterns at you. No! No, it doesn't like you playing for too long. I want to get to 200. <clears throat> Someone will get to 200. Okay, we'll play until someone gets yes. to 200. I mean, this is a good 10-liner. Oh. 200 is a must. Yes. Cannot to give up. Least. Nice long stretch. Ah, uh, I oh. don't like those. <laughs> those, those hurt. Ugh. Oh, Brutal. I was hoping I wouldn't have to hit that one. I really love oh. randomly generated games. They're so because, hard. Because they have oh. that playability factor that yeah. you can just keep you going. You never know what you're going to get. I mean, this doesn't have like a, a graceful ramp up. It's oh, like, it's hard right Could from be the immediately terrible. Could be great and easy for a while. Oh, nice. Like that. Long stretch. Oh, is, oh I'm no! Really good. Come on! Get with the program! <laughs> Oh! <laughs> You're like, hurry up! I'll play again! Click, 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 click! Oh, oh you just don't get one. enough to hit hit it and jump. That upward and then jump immediately, yeah. that's the hardest. That is the one. hardest. You're absolutely right. One more, one more shot. Okay. One more shot. <laughs> I think we both die on that one a lot. Oh, that, oh, that exactly. That, that's what kills you. It just like cuts you off. Ugh. Oh. No! You can't change your trajectory once you have let go of the button. It's over. I could count. It's, it's, it's mastering the green pipes. They, yep. they really do. They're like... They're like... Stumbling blocks along the way. You're hitting them exactly so you can hit the edge of it and then jump off of it. Because if you hit it too late, you can't jump off of it. There's not enough time to jump. Yeah, it's very sensitive. Oh, cat. Trying to see what's going on here. Yay! Nice. Oh my god! Single block! 30! Very nice. Single blocks? Oh yep. my god. I can't believe that alternative graphics are built into that. Yeah. And it gets even harder than that. Keeps going. Okay. Are Me? you? Are you? Do oh you yeah. Try no. Two hundred. I, I think will, you can do it. I. Oh, we'll see <laughs> if I get past twenty. Thank you, Vitoko. Two thirty for Jay. Comes for you, huh? <laughs> says, put me down. Oh, oh, I have to not do that. Like, I'll just do a really big jump and see if I get lucky. I've never held it down like. Oh, too wonder short. Wonder how high you can jump. There must be a limit. <sighs> Upper limit. Oh, oh I think Done? it kicked me okay. out. Yeah, I think. 2.30 for James. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the fun. next one is by Vitoko. Yay! It's Beatles. Um, so let's uh, load it up and I will read out how to play it. Okay. Since you need to type in the, uh, the load. Ooh, beetle cars. Yes. Nice. A description. Proud of your white beetle. Participate in the Beatles' Great Parade. How far can you go? Mm. Uh, when the title screen appears, press the button to join the Be Beatles' Great Parade. You can move the joystick left and right using the joystick. Oh, uh, left and right using the joystick. Upwards, you can accelerate. Downwards, you can reduce your speed. You have to overtake 20 cars in less than 20 seconds. If you do it, the time is extended to overtake oh. 20 more cars, and so on. Every time you get extra time, the path is narrowed a bit. Uh. Oh, and the button honks, but I'll get to that. Oh. Um, when you crash against another beetle, or when you get out of the way, your hood of your beetle will open and you must close it to see again. <laughs> Precious time will be lost as you join the parade again. Uh. Uh, when you feel that crash is imminent, press the button to honk. Oh! One of the other cars might change to the other side. If you're lucky, you could find a path to be safe. Use the honk. Too much might lead to a major crash. Uh, use it carefully. When there's no more time, your beetle will stop and the game is over. Honk to join the parade again. <laughs> Very cute. Let's 
six. Five. Yeah, it restarted the number of cars though. Ah. So you made it to the checkpoint then. At Did I? One point. Oh. Yeah, for restarts the number. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. The sides narrowed, but I didn't. I wasn't watching. So I'll have to watch next time. Five, eight, seven, five, four, three, two. Yep, it narrowed just yeah. a tiny bit. Oh. Tried to honk. Tried to honk. <laughs> so if you crash, it, it, it's not game over. It's only game over when your time is over. You just kind of start over. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Get away from me. Three, two, oh, they do oh, run away. There you go. Yeah, a little bit. But he says, but the instructions say don't honk too much. Oh. Narrows two pixels at each checkpoint, one per side. Okay. So very, very minor. But it will add up over time. Two, one, oh, 194. Oh, cool. 194. I like it. Yeah, very good. That's really fun. It plays quite, it's it's quite quite easy to play. Yeah. Yeah. Just every once in a while they kind of corner. Oh, oh my God. They're going crazy. Graphics have gone crazy. Oh, you can see the, the hood of the car go up. When you crash. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Very nice detail. Oh yeah, it does narrow ever so slightly. Nice. You get a jump up and score when you hit the twenty cars. That's oh, do you? Oh, yeah. okay. Nice. You get one per car. I'm just looking at the score to see when your time rolls over. Ooh, <clears throat> gotta go, gotta go. Double down, first time in the chat. It says looks hey. kind of like driving in Mexico. Lots of old beetles, no road lines, <laughs> and people drive wherever they want. That's hilarious. That's probably about right. Yeah. yeah. Ah! No! 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 <laughs> oh boy! Smackety smack. Gonna catch up. Poor old beetles. Yeah, dented hoods. Oh God! Three, two cars left. Oh, Oof, just made it. Oh my God. I guess if you do really well, you can kind of get ahead of the game. Or does your time your time resets and the cars and nine, reset? I'll both reset. So you're on an even playing field. Every time. If you make it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you can't. It just gets more narrow every time. Yeah. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna make it this time. <laughs> I'm crashing too much. Oh no! 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 Three, two, one. Oh, you oh, just, one just didn't make it. What? 268? Very good. Yep. Very good. Uh, and you want to do one more to sure. see if you can beat that? Yeah. 268? Yep. And you've got 191. Thank you, Vitoko, for keeping score tonight. Uh, oh, oh, it doesn't too. always help a whole heck of a lot, no. depending on I found trying to stay in the middle is a, is a really good idea because yeah. if you can, sometimes it's really hard. That was bad. <laughs> Honk. <laughs> Honk. Oh, 
No, don't hit the sides. No. It gives it, in the middle, it gives you the most um, flexibility. Came over. What? Well, okay. Oh my goodness. Try what I did there. Too many crashes. Whoa, that was close. Speed ahead. Make up that time. I have to speed ahead. Uh, I was speeding the whole time. Yeah, but you probably didn't need to. You probably had plenty of time until the end. Maybe. Time. Yeah, you do need you to speed. You gotta speed. Yeah. Oh, gosh, Ten seconds. I'm doing to terrible clear. here. <laughs> Don't let her on the roads. She'll destroy her beetle. Well, fortunately, you don't drive from the top down. So. <laughs> Not a top down view. You'd have to have a camera mounted on a pole or something pointed down oh, and then you look at it on a screen to drive like this yeah it's true oh i keep hitting them terrible I mean, no this some, is not going well um some cars have a view kind of like that for parking where they show you the whole car from a top down perspective but they yeah. kind of fake it because there's obviously no camera on top and they fake it from uh, cameras being around the whole sides of the cars, I think. You get one point per car in the square of the remaining time of the checkpoint. Ah, faster and less crashes mean more score. So you do get bonus points for... Getting through. Getting through as, through quickly. Ooh, threading the needle. Oh, nice. Sometimes you do. Good job. Ah, Whoa, I knew honk, that honk. Was, yeah. Forget your honker. Ah, there you go. go. Oh, <laughs> not enough. Doesn't clear the road. <laughs> oh, two. There you go. Made it. Yeah, because <sighs> when your time is down to one, you don't get any oh, Come really. on. You really have to honk with a little bit of time to spare. Hey, fluffy cat. Oh, one card. There you made it. Oof. Six seconds. Oh, oh no. 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 <laughs> Good. Three, two, one. Oh, just, <gasps> just made it. And one car and one second left. I'm just doing terrible. I'm like running into them now. <laughs> That uh, phenomenon where you uh, steer towards, steer the, towards the, danger. the thing. Yeah. It's like persistence of vision. Something Is like that. that. Where it's like you're so transfixed on the thing you're trying to avoid yeah. that you go right for it. Yeah, that's that's terrifying. I don't think it's persistence of vision. I think that's like imprinting things on you. Oh, oh come on. one car! All you need is one! Oh, you just made it. Yeah. Three cars, I three not, seconds. The problem is, is that I honk the horn, but I'm accelerating at the same time. <laughs> when in, in reality, get out of my way! Yeah. <laughs> honk, 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 honk. Uh, yeah, and then I'm like accelerating into them. Oh. Time value is not measured in seconds. Nine no. means twenty seconds. Two seconds per unit. Okay. That's why it seems so slow with one second left. Yeah. No, it's, it's not, not a quite second. one second. <sighs> you get a car a second as it. Have I beaten James yet? Uh, you are very... You're one point away. You beat me. Yeah. No, you tied me. <laughs> oh, what happened? She made I'm not moving. What's going on? 
moving? I'm not moving. What's you're, going on? You're moving to the left? What are you doing? I wasn't, I was moving properly. I don't know what I did there. You were moving. Left, right, No, it was up, very, down. very slow all of a sudden. Hmm. Maybe I was hitting the angles. <sighs> anyway, I beat you. That's all that matters. <laughs> That's why I have to play again. <laughs> Kind of um, relaxing. It is very relaxing. It's not like the last game where it's like ah, yeah, ah! <laughs> panic time every every millisecond. I like all the colors, the, col oh, the car yeah. colors coming streaming down the screen. I'm guessing it's very randomized nice. car colors from a set of colors because they all seem to be well. They're all against <clears> black, <throat> so they're all <clears throat> probably fine. We have to randomize all the pinky pastelly colors. Yes. Very nice. The so strength of the Atari is the mm. colors. Very addictive game so far, says Atari 800 oh. XL. Oh, yeah. Really nice. It's just, it's not too stressful. You get a lot of leeway, mm -hmm. unlike the last game, where it's like, ah, panic. Um, yeah, it's it's really, I'm too late. You get, it, you get to reset as well. Oh, hit the side. So if you mess up, as long as you make it, then everything's even again. Learning to slow down as well helps a lot. <laughs> Sometimes they don't. No. Nope. Get there. Oh, you're you're definitely gonna beat your old score. Yeah. I think I'm so. Doing you're doing pretty, doing pretty good. Oh. As much. <laughs> Just don't hit the side. Just made the next one there. Oh, Whoa, my God. Oh, that's threading the needle right yeah, there. Yeah, that was pixel away. Yeah. Hog? No, didn't move. Vitoko, my best score is over 500. Very good. Oh, is it? <laughs> <laughs> How much over 500? <laughs> oh, oh, no. No, I don't know. Now I'm not concentrating. It must be pretty narrow. You get yeah, to a point be. where there's like only room for three cars across. <laughs> I'm sure there's a um, minimum width. There's an overflow. Really, you think? Well, you just you would just crash over and over again, right? True. That's a good point. There might be a maximum. The minimum width would be the width of your. Yeah. I what suppose. would happen? I guess you would. Everyone would lose at a certain point. Yeah. You yeah. would just crash into the car because they would. It would have to be the minimum width of your car and their car, and the di while the distance, enough distance to pass them while they're moving. Yeah. Which is. Oh, not very much room. <laughs> oh, getting, getting, getting there. 474. Yeah. That's very narrow now. It is not much room for maneuvering. No. I can see why it gets hard. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, my goodness. You kind of did. Uh, you might not make the next round. Oh, no. Keep trying. Keep trying. Almost there. Oh, oh, oh 487. That's good. Yeah. There is no narrowing limit, but you will crash with the first one. Mm. Yeah, gotcha. Very okay, the next game is. Very good. Very good game, Batoko. An issue. Oh, the I one that's not working? It. Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll have to play so, it again sometime, I guess. Yeah, we'll try it at the end, and I'll bring up my other um, Atari. Okay. Um, 
plus it uses paddles, so it's easier to do it at the end anyway. Okay. Next one is Sweeper. This is also by Vitoko. Squish the cat. Ah, ah. Don't squish the cat. I'll try not to squish the cat. Oh. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sweet cat. I have a new I have a new co-host right now. <laughs> yeah. A cat? He's he moved into your spot. Doesn't say much, but he's very supportive. Yes. Hi. You know I sit there. Ooh, is this Minesweeper? It is. Oh. So you get easy, cool, and hard. Uh, clean the floor with your broom. Use the hints of surrounding tiles to avoid mines. Okay. To highlight one, you have to hold down the button and press left or right as a flag, but you don't know oh, when it's I there. Oh, I see. Ah, uh, that one isn't. Okay. Uh, move the joystick to select the difficulty level from easy, cool, and hard. Press the button to start the game. A pointer will appear over the tiles. You'll see the number of tiles to clean uh, at the top That's level. Oh, very nice. So what, what do I do to put them? Hold down the button and press to the right. There you go. Now let go. Gotcha. Um, use the joystick to move around. Press the button to clean a tile. If a number appears, it says how many mines are adjacent to it, horizontally, vertically, or diagonally. Clean some other tiles to get an idea about where the mines are. Sometimes you can find a danger-free error that will be cleaned immediately by a single click, like you did. When you're sure the tile is hiding a mine, press and hold the button until a broom appears, then mo move the joystick to get a flag, then release the button. To remove a misplaced flag, hold the button over it, move the joystick until a tile appears, and then release the button. When you clear all the tiles that are not hiding a mine, the game is complete, and the timer shows how many seconds were required. Try to be quick. All unflagged tiles will get their flag. If you clean a tile that is hiding a mine, this will explode. Then the location of every mine will be shown. If you misplace a flag, it will remain in place. Yeah. Spammer. You are correct. Spammer's gone. Ban! The ban hammer comes down. Kicking ass. Oh, it's been a long time since I've played Minds Minesweeper. Um, like, really? There we go. How many are there am, am I trying to find? Uh, it has 32 at the top. I'm, oh, that's the time. Oh, there's two things. Why is... Oh, okay. That's clearing how many left. I don't, it doesn't say that there's X per different levels, just difficulty. I'm sure um, Vitoko did put in like, oh, put in 20 mines yeah. randomly or 30 mines. Uh, one, two. Oh, that needs a third. Okay. Spammer stomping. It's got to be a game in that. Oh, yeah, that would be a game. I bet there's been some spammer games made out there. Two, two. No, that one beside you is fine. Because there's already two flags beside the two on the this two? below. Yeah. Yeah, right. Uh then that has to be one. Uh I haven't played this in so long. I used to play it so much. You're in trouble at the bottom one. I know. I it, it, gonna you, have to leave it to last. You have to pick a random spot. Okay, I'm running out of thoughts here. So no. that's one, two, so that has to be See all those ones? Get rid of them. Oh, this one, yeah. Yep. And that one beside it, too. Why? Because there's a one right there, and it's already connected to that flag. That one. Okay. And then that has to be a one. Yep. Uh, and that oh. beside it has to be one as well, because it's a two. Yes, because the two. And, and then, then again, the three. three. Uh, and nope, the... nope. It's got that one. Oh, I didn't see that. Yep. Because it's the same so color. That has to be free. Yep. Um... 10, 20, and 40. Okay. Three, so that has to be three. Similar probabilities uh, uh, for the original Windows Minesweeper. And then I mean, it's such two. a great concept for a game. It's, it's just so logic. It's simple. It's, it's all logic. pure logic. And, and then sometimes you are screwed. <laughs> and luck, like in the bottom left. So yeah. hopefully you can complete the rest and then declare victory as you explode on the last mine. Hmm. I'm not a big fan of games that have p 
pure luck that will end your game. Yeah. But Minesweeper is one of those, unfortunately. <laughs> There's no way around it. There's no way to avoid that kind of thing happening too easily unless the computer plays through the whole game itself. That has to be one. That one's free. I always make a mistake, though. Oh, no. Uh, my logic always goes oh, no. somewhere. <laughs> um, so one, Ooh. two. So that's one more. Oh. If, if it's here, it has to be here. Because the one and the one. Oh, it has to be one of those top. Yeah. Yeah. It has to be this one. Does it? That three follows. One, two, three. Yeah. Oof, okay. And then uh, that has to be a two. And then that's a two. And that's a one, two, three already. Oh. Then that's a three. One. One, two, three. Yeah. That has to be one. Yeah. That's clear. And, and then... Here we go. All right. Left or right, chat? Left or right? Left or right. We'll add it up and go for the left or right for... What, the bomb is in the left or right? Yeah. Yeah. Left. Pick where you think the right. bomb is. L or R? Left for Dan's Dan. for left. And we'll go with the majority. We'll go with the majority. We'll give you, um, I don't know, we'll count down a minute. My watch is 816. When it hits 8, You played the big game, right? Or did you pick the medium? This was cool. I, I liked that oh, cool. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll play a small oh, one. Oh, BVG Double Down is going the opposite. We're tied. <laughs> We're tied. Who will be the tiebreaker? Just need one more. Waiting for 818. What time is it now? On my watch. Gives people a minute. 18? Well, it's a minute. 16 right now. Well, it's 16. Yeah, but that's not a full minute. <laughs> Till 17. Oh, we got two lefts. Left's winning. Okay. Left or right, peoples. Left or right. Of course, their their votes are influenced by votes that people have already cast. <laughs> it's not a blind vote. This tells me how many people are paying attention. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> or just have it running in the corner. Do you have a left or right vote? I'll be the tiebreaker. Oh, I have a left or right vote, too. So. Oh, okay. We'll put up our hands at the end. <laughs> it's 817. One more minute. One more minute for voting. Um, we went to Seattle. Yeah, we did. Um, on the weekend. Yeah. Yes. So I went for a concert. We didn't really spend much time there. No, we, we didn't have a lot of time. just ate and went to the concert pretty much. Yeah. The uh, concert was excellent. Mm -hmm. The food... One food was meh. And the other food was amazing. Yes. When we went, what was it? Was it? Um, it was Thai. Thai, and it was, it was okay. Very <sighs> below average, I would say, just below average. There wasn't enough spice, yeah, and it was very, I very found plain. I found everything very plain, and like usually when you go for Thai, everything's very spicy. And then we um, went to a deli. That was the day a, after. Yes, and that was delicious. And that was really good. Okay, it's your time's 8 up. All so right, left wins. Left wins. We're so, going here. So. Yep. Wait, left for the... Left for the bomb, so you click on the right. I'm clicking and on the clear right. Yeah. We'll see if the chat is wrong. Woohoo! <laughs> chat, job. you did it! Yeah, way to go, Thank chat. Thank you, chat. Done. I've got the, I've got the happy, happy face. face with the cool the cool glasses. You made the cool. All right. Are you going to... I'm going to do, do, do a small one. Do a small one. I'm just really going to run out and come back very, very quickly. And I died. There we go. Proper beginning. What? What? Did I flag that one on the right wrong? Oh, I did. Going too fast. clear that one's clear four one two three oh that one is two. Oh god okay that one's an impossible one um that one is one oh that one is one and that one is one one 
one, 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 and we're down to two. What do you think, kittens? Top or bottom? Okay. Uh, oh, no, no, you've got to help me decide, kittens. Okay, whoever touches this, your top. Atari, you got to pay attention. Atari, you're the bottom. Atari, Atari, come here. Okay. Okay, top, top it is. Top is the bomb, so we're going to go for that one. Good job! We both won. Yay! Okay. Next game. Very excellent implementation of Minesweeper. In Did 10 well. lines, which is amazing. Did it go well? Yeah, Sprite helped me out to Did pick... He? Yeah, I, I came down to to, oh, it's good. to one where it was one or the other. Ah, uh, yes. And so Sprite chose chose that Did the he? bomb was on the top, and he was correct. Oh. Yeah. So the next game is called Pick the Star. Okay. We should talk about our renovation, too. Oh, yes. Lots of stuff going on since uh, since we've been taking uh, some time off, other than croaky voices. <laughs> That's just it. Yeah. I'm going to have to croaky voices. I'm going to have to take a test, I think, just to make sure there's nothing going on. If I still, yeah. have, it, if I still have it in the morning. Yeah. Because sometimes it is just you, your throat's dry, but... Yeah. Okay. Okay, Pick the Star by Marcos... Spidaletti, Spidaletti, mm -hmm. whose name is Spotless Mind 1975 on the forums. Um, the aim. The aim of the game is to score as many points as possible in the given amount of time. The score you have collected so far is shown on the left. Underscore. Mm -hmm. uh, While well, the remaining time is on the right. Uh, as time passes, the stars on the right diminish, which is your time. When they disappear, the game is over. How to increase the score. To increase the score, you need to collect as many shooting stars as possible with the inner part of the container. Mm -hmm. the, if the star falls out of the container or on the edge, no points are scored. Okay. When the container collects a star, your score increased by a whopping 15 points. Ooh. Of course, you can also increase your score by collecting <clears throat> circles, but the score increases by only 5 points. However, it should be noted that if neither the circles nor the shooting stars are collected and too many are dropped, points will be lost. Ooh. In particular, for every eight objects that touch the ground without being caught, 30 points are lost. Okay. The container can be moved left or right with a joystick. Please refer to the instructions how to use the joystick for each computer. Okay. Its speed starting is low. When you collect a circle, the speed is increased by as much as four times. This will allow you to collect more shooting stars in circles. However, every time you collect a shooting star, the speed of the container will go back to low. Ah, so circles make you fast. Stars make you slow. Stars are more points. Circles are less points. Mm. Not getting them. You lose points. You lose points. Okay. And it doesn't start with the joystick. Press the no. key. But it's only 10 lines, so uh -huh. what can you do? Oh my goodness. <laughs> There's a lot coming down. Oh, now I'm moving past. Yeah, because you got a circle. And we have to catch in the middle of your bucket to get the points. You oh get no goodness. points if it hits the side, no points if it hits the bottom, but if too many hit the bottom, you get... Oh, I'm really slow now. Yeah. But you'll be slow when you get oh my God. the stars. It's oh. so slow. Wow. It's neat. Minus 30. <laughs> You're going up in points and down in points. What, Constantly. What's the Intellivision game again oh. called, where if things hit the ground, you lose points? Oh. And it, is that asteroids? No. It's it's Astro Smash. Astro Smash. That's, That's what it, it not is. asteroids. Astro something. Everything Astro. was called Star or Astro. Asteroids. In Star. Seventies to eighties on consoles. Oh, Astro Smash. That's right. VVG double down. Um, oh, I'm going up in points. So, it's interesting. It's not a bad game, but the slowing down and speeding up really <laughs> just like it's like it's like you're. All of a sudden, you're swimming through sludge, <laughs> and then you're going fast, and then you're swimming through sludge again. It's 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 almost impossible when you're slow <laughs> to catch anything. Yeah. So you almost need to dodge everything, but if you don't, 
can't get as much as you can. Maybe just the circles. Oh then. my goodness! Yeah, but you can't just get the circles because you lose points, right? Now, do you slow? D oh, you don't slow down when you hit the stars on the side of your bucket. Only when you get points in the middle. But so what you want to do is hit the stars on the side and get all the circles in the middle. No, you lose. Oh, well, I I'm talking I about lost. fast, slow. Yeah, you're right. You want to get some. St okay, so there is some strategy here. Yeah. As far as maximizing your points. Oh, oh, painful. <laughs> Out of time. I don't know what it... If you get more time later, it I doesn't really say. Game okay. over. Okay. 95 points. Okay. I get it. I get yep. it. Yep. Interesting. It's a, it's, a, <clears throat> it's a balance. One of those games where it balances out. Mm -hmm. Very smart. Ah. Uh. Spammer stomp and there's got to be a game in that. Yeah. Man. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, first again. Come on. Okay. At least it pauses before you go. A slow build of points. Yeah, if you touch them on the side, don't get points. You can kind of like strategize by getting like a star then immediately a circle mm -hmm. to speed up again. Yeah, it's it's interesting and challenging that you're losing points but also getting them. Mm. Uh, no. 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 Well, you're doing better than than me on the score, but I think there is a bit of strategy to kind of going for the O's and then catching the odd slow one and then getting an O again so you can move fast. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, you're definitely doing better on score. You said it's timed? Yeah, see the right hand side? There's yeah. little Oh, the stars. stars. Oh. And when you run out of them. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. That's cool. What's up, little black kitten? But you gain them back too. No. Cool. 360, 355. Nice. Very interesting game. Because I didn't really, I just looked at it briefly before and it's like, oh, you're just catching stuff. But now it's like, oh, you lose points and gain points. Very cool. Uh, okay. Next game is also by Marco. It's uh, tic-tac-toe, and he uses the keyboard, so okay. it's going to be very quick. But. Okay. <laughs> you can play that one. <laughs> oh, no, you can. We'll, we'll play together. Okay. TTT10L. X's or O's? You can <laughs> okay. go first. Okay. Uh, it's X's first. I will go. Uh, one to nine? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven eight, eight, nine. nine. Of course. Okay, where are you going to go? Uh, one. Six, 
seven. <laughs> And nine. No, yeah, one no one wins. And that's how you play tic tac toe. <laughs> no one ever wins. I mean, very decent implementation of it. Excellent. Um, yeah, this tic tac, -tac toe is played by three by three grid on two players who alternately place X's and O's, nine spaces, pressing the digit one to nine. Game ends when you have three signs of the same type on a vertical line, one horizontal or diagonal. If this does not happen, you have equality and nobody wins. There's no universally agreed rule as to who plays first, but in this game, the convention that O plays first is used. Mm. Okay, next game we're going to be playing is Star Runner. And this is by Eric Carr. When I heard Star Runner, I immediately thought Home Star Runner. Home Star Runner. Oh, <laughs> it's in the name, Listen. yeah. Oh, the last latest two games the last two games were developed in a multi-platform flavor of basic mm -hmm. oh okay very cool so did he um develop them for other platforms as well i'm guessing mm -hmm. oh have I a retire. good night itc yeah have a thanks good night. for tuning in yeah so this is star runner mm -hmm. uh game story it is a time of war in your galaxy your people the atarians defend against constant attacks from the commodorians <laughs> oh no Oh, boy. Oh, no. Uh, due to the circumstances beyond your control, a fixed lottery, uh, it has been decided that you, Rom Antic, must deliver vital details to a nice. secret base hidden deep in the safe part of your galaxy. Mm. You hop in your aging ship, the Pokey Cruiser, and take off with no time to spare. Unfortunately, the shortest path to the base is blocked by ten waves of mm. deadly asteroids ten and mines. Waves. Okay. Your rather basic laser can only dispatch the smallest asteroids, so you'll need to rely heavily on evasive maneuvers mm -hmm. to dodge your way through all 10 waves and safely reach the goal. Good luck. Atarians in the galaxy are counting on you. Now, I was very impressed with this game. It's got parallax scrolling, uh, very good graphics on the ship. It's got the shading on the side there. Really good uh, graphics for the um, for the asteroids. Oh, the I swear there's oh there's the stars. Okay, so they're either stars. You don't have to wait. No, don't you? No, they're they're just like stars passing by. Or oh, not really? stars, just oh, debris I or I, something. I was like desperately trying to avoid them. No, just the asteroids. How do the graphics oh, fit in 10 right lines? Oh, come on. Uh, you'd put them in as uh, hexadecimal. Um, so it would just be a string of hexadecimal numbers. So it's pretty compact. And it wouldn't take up that much room for s simple, simple graphics. And all these games are fairly simple graphics. So these don't hurt me? Uh, no, they don't. Interesting. Just in between the waves. And wave four. Did you crash once? Uh, yes, I oh, did. Okay. One just, ship left. I just caught the edge of my ship, unfortunately. <clears throat> one ship in reserve or one ship left? Well, that's always the question, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Depends if they're doing it right or wrong. According to James. <laughs> the right way is one ship in reserve. It's saying, oh my god, saying one ship and the ship that you are playing. Uh oh. Good job. Is a bit weird, but each game is a little bit different. But I think the majority of games say that that ship is in reserve because there should I, be I zero should ships be. left. Yeah. Wave six. Whoa! These ones you can't even shoot. Only the tiny ones. Only the little guys. Ah, ah, oh. ah, I panicked. Panic cat. Panic cat. Last ship. None in reserve. They're doing it right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure we had a poll very early on. For yes, that. I think we did. I do remember that. And I'm pretty sure the way that I like won out. Because <laughs> it I, it is used in the majority of games. Yes. Um, like if they show ships, as in, whoa, that was close. At like the icons of ships. That's a bit more straightforward. Is like, oh, you have literally two more ships showing 
as, as actual ships. Whoa! Close, close, close. Wave seven. Oh, tight. Should always show reserve, not including current in use. Yes, agreed. Absolutely agreed. Oh, oh just wave didn't eight? quite make it. No, I'm, uh, wave I think eight. You made that was pretty eight. good. Yeah, Very good. Right. Let's see if I can make it. How do the graphics fit in 10 lines? Or or is the game over code is broke? I want to yeah. start again. That was terrible. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, smack. Rage reset. Rage reset. There's That's one way to do it. Smack right into it. Hi. Oh, you guys want more treats, don't you? Oh, yes. do they deserve them, though? I do, uh, they so, were pretty good. We left them on their own while we were in Seattle. True. They did not destroy the house. No, nope, they were well behaved. We Very just well we were just cats. there for one night. We wouldn't leave them for longer than one night. No, but, we loaded um, up their food dish. And um, we're pretty sure they ate all a whole day's worth of food within like five minutes of us leaving, because <laughs> um, they were still eating when we left. You didn't see like, any vomit I was like, though. Oh yeah. So they might have rationed. They, they I doubt they rationed anything for at least an hour. Yeah. When you're given like a bowl full of like I don't know, Cheetos, which is essentially what cat kit cat uh, dry food is. You're like, these are your Cheetos for the week. Yeah, you Gone. just eat all, you eat the whole bowl. That's just how it works. Yeah. There's no score in this game, so there's not any point. You in just gotta get through. Shooting. It just, it just uh, gets things out of your way. Yeah. And also feels nice, you it know, does. when you're angry, you just, just, just shoot at things, sure. even though you can't destroy them. So, Hi. so we have a, yeah. a patio. Yes. Or a balcony. Yes, it's a balcony. Um, but yeah. it's enclosed on three sides. Like the way it is, it's it's set into our building. Yeah. Um, and it's 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 fine. It's not particularly large. We had the ba uh, bar barbecue out there before, mm -hmm. and a chair. And a chair, and we would go out there in the summer. You know, when it's hot, it, yep. it was lovely. Um, but got the idea. I don't know. Maybe. Oof. Oh my God. Oof! You're really just sneaking through there. Um, that it might be a nice idea to enclose it. So we yep. enclosed it. Yep, so we, it's like sliding sliding glass. Sliding glass. And now it's an extra room. Yep. It's basically like a little sunroom, which is fantastic. So it's Tanya's craft room and it's my, my room. electronics room for yes. fixing things, which I'm not very good so at. So we, but... we, we put a desk out in a chair and there's also like a little bench with, with patio Some cushions shelves. on it. So you can sit out there, you can open it up, you yeah. know, when it's, when it's warm. Uh, put a bunch of storage in there. My cricket is out there. I have a place to do, um, like it's powered. So I have a place to do my resin crafts and everything like yep. all of these guys um, without worrying about the fumes affecting the cats or us so yeah so I'm very excited so I'm gonna be doing a lot of crafting yes um, and hopefully making maybe a little bit of zero page merch along yeah. the way too that, that uh, there's a spot I'll figure to do out it. something to do yeah very exciting oh you're in wave eight good yep. job good no job doubt. two shifts no doubt excellent so it's very fun, and at some point we'll show photos of it because got it all organized. Yeah. There's there's like a nice pegboard where you can hang up all the all the. Um... Oh god! Oh god! Oh oh oh! Wow, that was that was impressive. That was really dodgy. This is not an easy level. It is very dodgy. Oh no! Vitoko's thirty seconds of ads. Oh no! I hate that. Oh god! I'm cornered. Oh. oh. Wave ten. Wave last ten. Wave. Woo! Last wave. Or maybe that's the end of the game. Yeah. No, it's a mine wave. Can't... Got all the tools hanging on the pegboard. Yeah. Have my Dremel tool. Have you know you have a spot to put um, your soldering iron and. Yeah. So we're all very excited. It's kind of an exciting. Thing. And the cats are excited yeah. because we can let them out there and yes. they can be in the sun and. The... Yeah, and they it. can't get it. They can't jump off. So they can't yeah. escape. Yeah. Wave <laughs> They're 11. truly locked in. I mean, oh oh, is this slowing down? all done. Oh, and you just stay on wave 11 yeah. forever because you, you made it. Pass the asteroid. It's only 10 lines. You're I can't do anything fast. flying out into empty space yeah. now. Yay! Da, 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 Yay! No gaps. Oh, you saved the galaxy. Oh, it, did, it does have an end. Excellent. Wow. A 10-line game with an end. Nice. That's pretty good. I mean, uh, the Minesweeper nice. has an end, too. Yes. Um, very cool. Uh, that's a that's really, really good game. Mm -hmm. Quite a bit of gameplay in that. That's awesome. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, before we 
go back to the game we skipped. We're going to go to um, Cracky. Okay. It's not part of the 10 line. Okay, not part of the 10 line. Then I'm going to get out my NTSC and put it there. <laughs> And we'll play see the last one. Basic runs on that. Okay. Which it should. Okay. So it's an unaltered NTSC mm -hmm. uh, system. Okay. Very impressive. Good stuff. Really good entries this year. Um, oh, fantastic! All of them play really well. Oh yeah, Angry Cat. There's Angry Little Soot Sprite here. Oh kittens! Oh. oh. Let me change the cartridge. There you go, cracky. Okay, kittens. Yeah. Okay, in your futo. Um, actually, let me show you something first. Come on, switch. Um. Oh, I didn't load it up. I will load it up. So Inufuto, he is a, a game developer, obviously, mm -hmm. but he's also a developer of a cross-platform cross developing system. Mm. Um, so you can use basic across multiple platforms. Yeah, so he's got a programming <clears> language <throat> that he is able to program a game in mm. and um, and then it spits it out for multiple systems. Oh, I see. Okay, that makes sense, yeah. So let's just take a look at this. It's not loading all the... Why are people so impressed with ChatGPT if you can do this? <laughs> program it in one language and it gives it to you in all of them. Yeah, exactly. That sounds more impressive. So, um, this particular game is... I don't know why it's not showing everything. Because there's supposed to be like a, a YouTube oh, here? player there. Oh. But it's not showing it. It did flash for a second. Maybe it's loading it all. Um, oh, there we oh, go. There we go. There's a lot up. of stuff. And it's from Japan, too. So it's slow. Um, this game is was cross-compiled for 61 different systems. Wow. He is adding systems all the time as well. That's so cool. So you can see here's all the s systems this one game wow. has been cross-compiled wow. uh, for. Um, and he makes games that are usually very, very simple. Mm -hmm. Usually like you and like one other enemy. Um, but... Uh, usually really fun games. We've played all of his games on the show so far because I try and keep up to date and, and watch for his games coming out because I keep track of all the games. And you can see it all. they all look the same. Some mm -hmm. have different color capabilities. Some have different sound capabilities. And I think he develops for like the best system and then it scales it down for the other ones. Mm -hmm. And he makes sure they're games that will work on all the systems. Yeah. So it's really, really impressive what he's doing. Um, the games may not be for everyone, but they are very, very simplistic. And I find a lot of them really fun. And I think this one is is one of his uh, better games. Mm. I mean, there's some shooter games that I like, of course. This one's a platformer collector game. And it usually doesn't give much uh, in the way of instructions, but <laughs> here's what his instructions are. And some have no instructions, so we're lucky to get them. It is clear when all the stars are taken. This is translated from Japanese. <laughs> Cracked floors disappear when you pass over them, so you can only pass through them once. That's it. That's the instructions. <laughs> so you have to collect all the stars, and his generic enemy is always there. Get stars, go! Oh, oh. <laughs> Not moving. You can pass over the cracking part once, and after that, you fall through and so does the enemy, which is good. It's not a floating ghost. Thought you were the pink guy for a minute. No, you can I jump? No. But you can fall. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. Make sure you don't isolate a star. There is a timer. 
match and a stage. I see it. The timer's pretty pretty generous. And you have a score as well. I get it. Yeah. It's, it's that straightforward. Yeah. Oh, two enemies. Uh oh. Lots of ladders. Lots of falling. I tried to go up. It just kept moving. Yep. You were pressing a diagonal. And I'm, favored, I'm really good at diagonals. And it favored the right. Yeah. Over the up. Unfortunately. Oh no. Oh, you're oh dead. I'm dead. Okay. Let's try something else. Uh, oh, you have infinite lives? It doesn't have lives. Or, or were there lives in that too? is interesting. Yes, it is. I like this type of game. Ladders and platforms and collecting and enemies. Um, no. Too early. Yeah. And those guys don't turn around. No, they could just go for you the whole time. Yeah. This is cute. I like this. I thought you. Were, I thought I was the pink guy as well. RC70. When I first started, I was like, "Am I moving?" Then I realized I wasn't the pink guy. <laughs> Tile-based, so you can move through. Oh, you have to fall down. You're too late. Oh, well, you can go back around, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think if you stand on it, it also disappears. Yeah. You don't have to go over it and yeah. back again. Yeah. You do have lives. There it is. You just had zero lives. Yeah, so no, because I, I screwed sure. up a couple times there. You're at the top. Yeah. Don't know how many levels there are because he gives me no information for this game. Concept. I like games like this. Yep. I understand what's going on, but there's a challenge. Still two enemies. It reminds me a bit of the burning game. Um, the, yes. The one where he's in the different worlds and he's he's doing puzzles like this one. Yes. There's a sort of similarity similar. to the gameplay, like a puzzle game, with enemies that you're trying to avoid. Behind me, you cannot get me up here. Nice. <laughs> you can fall infinitely, which is nice. Yes, there's no. You need to get that last star. And fall. Yay. Keep thinking the bottom is death. It yeah. doesn't have a platform. That That's is true. That's very true. It does look like you're so just they, gonna fall. Um, so they sacrificed the bottom line for a more vertical. 
Oh god. to dodge. It is. Mm, what should I do? Stop. Fall down. Mm. It decided not to come up. It's good. Problem now. Oh, the bottom, but those guys will probably keep falling down. Mm -hmm. yeah. I draw them. Up the side. I don't know. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yay, I win. Oh. <laughs> win. Nice. Stage five. So let's see how many stages you put in this game. Put too many. Maybe ten Usually stages. Ten. Yeah. Ten, ten is a nice round. They quickly get to the bottom. So. Um, they're all in the same logic, so I think after they get together, they don't split. to get that one. You have to get that one from that level. You can't. I'll go the right. You can't side. fall through. You can't fall through that at all. You can't fall through that at all. But I want to get that star. No, but no, you. No. Oh. Then I'm fine. You have to get it from there. You have to get it from there. You have to drop down from there. Yeah. And go over. Oh. You. No. Because if there. you <laughs> fall down it, you can't get to the left. Yeah. You can get to the right, but not to the left. Stage six. So good. Really, really good. Good. We won't do it again. No, because it's just the same. <laughs> yeah. It's just playing the same uh, puzzles. Very, very cool. Very nice. Yeah, I like that. So let's get out my NTSC, which should hopefully run basic. Luckily, it's out and accessible. Very nice. NTSC. Yep, and labeled. So let's switch it out. I should just be able to unplug all these things and just switch it out. This sticker fell off. My brain will be playing that music all night, says RC70. <laughs> yeah. It's one of those songs, it sounds, it's it's always in the background, it's not offensive in any way, you don't dislike it, but then it just burns <laughs> into your, into your, into your brain. Yeah. Because you just hear it over and over and over again. Oh, this one's so much heavier. What the hell? Didn't cut out, so. Mm. Oh, this is a totally different thing. They've got a really nice shot of the back of your head. Excellent. That's what and I'm the Sprite and Atari cam. So I don't know where that one's going to. Oh, I do know. So how is everyone doing <laughs> out in the chat? I hope you're having a good week. 
we're having very nice weather here right now. Very sunny, a little on the cool side, but very nice. Paddles. Paddles, yes. woo. I will, uh, first, I'm going to get <clears throat> the picture up. Oh, okay. We have picture, we have loading. And let's plug in the paddles now that we know that's working. Well, we don't know that it's loading yet, but frozen cat cam. I'll fix that in a second. Oh, it's the back of your head still. <laughs> that's so funny. Every time James leans over to uh, I think it's when correct I turn something. on or off yeah. something, it's... Uh, it, it, it's freezing and it just happens to always freeze on the back of James's head. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's funny. James is in two places at once. That's right. It's more efficient that way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's will go right for it. Oh, oh, well, there's a ready. Do I just run? No. Let's try the other one where there's a menu. Now this should load Vitoko's menu. What? What's going on, Vitoko? How do I do it? <laughs> it does have, like, this. What do I do? Help! <laughs> Help! Oh, unfreeze the cat cam. Well, Vitoko says. Yeah. What? Not loading the ATR, Vitoko says. At least it's ready. Ha ha ha. Yeah, That's right. exactly. It is ready. <laughs> there we go. So, what do we do? It does have basic. Oh, maybe I need to plug this in. Oh, there you go. That might help. Let's try that again. Oh, now it's making noise. That was like a Tyler Durden flash, says RC70. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So I didn't have it actually plugged in properly. Okay. We are happening. Let me change back the cartridge. The 10 liner. I'll read the instructions. You have to use both paddles. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> for what? It's for steering your dude. Oh. Um, let me go back to this. Uh, coordinator by Victor Prada, Vitoko. <laughs> Um, help the little elf to find the 11 potions needed to freeze the lava and escape alive. Uh, instructions. Lava is surrounding the elf and you must help him survive. Ooh, got one. He starts in the center area. Use both paddles to guide the elf to the shining potion. One paddle makes the elf move up or down. The other paddle makes him move left or right. The elf moves one step at a time, so don't turn the knobs too much because the elf might fall directly into ah. the lava. Um, we'll probably both have to play. Oh my goodness. The elf has a limited time to get the potion. If he falls, he fails if he runs out of time or if he touches the lava during the journey. Every time he fails, the journey starts automatically again. Oh when the elf gets all the potions, the lava will cool down and be harmless. Uh, then the journey is complete. Press any button to start the journey again. The game can be played with one person using both paddles. That's the really same hard. It's like, it's like etch-a-sketching. <laughs> Um, or two players, each of them with one paddle. Oh, gosh. Want me to help you? Yes. Okay. There you go. It's going back. So I need you. I can... I can... I'm left and right. You're up and down. Yeah. You need to go... Oh, what are you doing? Oh, you're messing it up. No. I'm hovering. Go down. Go down. I'm... I'm... There we go. How to start fights. Oh, oh, sorry. My fault. Yes, it was. Or yours. <laughs> you went up too early. You made it to two. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I was on, on the right path. There we go. Oh, that was me. You! No. You're false! So I can I can adjust the up and you're I'm going the wrong direction. Uh, if you just go left and right, I can I can get him on the right. If you just go up and horizontal. down, I can get him on the right <laughs> vertical. <laughs> well, no, because he, he he constantly moves up and down. He constantly moves left and right. No, he does doesn't. He? No, he doesn't. He constantly moves up and down, though. Uh, it's very hard to get him. You centered. go left or right. What are you doing? There you go. Cutting it so close. Oh. I wasn't expecting that line. I, I should know the lines are coming. Qua crazy cooperative game. <laughs> crazy. It is etch a sketching with two people. Yep. Remember, fills it in immediately. Don't go up too high. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> 11 potions. Oh, 11? Yeah. How many did we get to? Uh, five. Oh, my goodness. Co op etch a sketch. Yep. That's exactly it. Very interesting. I don't know how one person could do this on their own. Sorry. You have to go right. Thank you. First, I thought, oh, why are you making the, the controls the hard part? But it's actually, that's the whole point, is is controlling this crazy dude. Okay, you ready? Get down a bit. Down. Ah, you're too high! Ah, ha, ha, get down! Ah, you're getting so close. Um, Go up. Ah. Go down. What are you doing? I'm not. I'm not touching it. You going back and forth is actually affecting the up and down. Oh. Okay. I didn't think that's. Oh my god. Ah, what are you doing? I did turn down. I did. <laughs> <laughs> I did turn down. One it's more really try. Hard. Somebody adopt a twisting knobs would probably be good at it, like yeah. a modular synth player. <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh. One more. <laughs> It's more easy for one player to do... Oh, well, I don't know. I don't uh, think it is. It's really hard to control both of them at once. Like, Tanya and I are just using one. Like, each. I'm just going up and down, and he's going left and right. I don't know how you could coordinate yourself to do both at the same time. I think that would be really, really challenging. But Fatoko made it, so he must have... Uh, it's Fatoko's game? Yeah. We have must. him to blame for this? That's for right. our marital strife? That's right. Fatoko, how could you? Oops. The thing is, it's not binary, right? You have to twist it all the way to the left or right. Yeah. Oh, you get so close. I can't, That's I can't crazy. help it. It's... <laughs> Kittens. Psst, psst, psst. <laughs> Papa. What 
are you doing? Just going left and yeah, right. Yeah, but so you then don't you're the almost sides. you're almost hitting the other thing. So. Ah! Oh, ah! I turned up! I turned up! <laughs> oh, that is so hard. Okay, I'm trying it with one person. Yeah, you try it. You go I ahead. I don't even know how you could do this. <laughs> a base. You would need a base, yeah. No, this is crazy. It is crazy. This it's is so hard. Crazy. Yeah. If you can control an etch -a sketch then maybe you excel at this game. That's exactly what it is. Up and what down, left hell? and right. Nope. No, no. No, it's it definitely is better so to have two brains hard. working on it at the same time. Okay, do you want to do left and right? No, I okay. really don't. Okay. I don't think my brain can do that. <laughs> we tried the Toko. <laughs> it's hard. It's, it's a challenging game. It's, it's a game. good game, though. Very I clever. I like that. I like that. I've never I played feel, a game with that con I've, those controls before. No, and I feel like this is the kind of game you should play as you get older so that you maintain <laughs> mental acuity. <laughs> like, there are certain games that they're like, yes, uh, what was it? Um, Brain Age was that those oh, games yeah. that they had on like the 2DS and they're like yeah keep playing this and you'll maintain your you know your mental health as you get older or your mental acuity that is this game if you can play this game you're doing <laughs> you're doing pretty well yeah 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 <laughs> so which was your favorite oh my goodness of okay all name games. all the games name them again oh uh, let's take a look uh Go to the top of the list. Oh, you can check from my page where I got the idea. Oh. Oh, cool. Very nice. Tell us. <laughs> uh, oh, we can go to his page. Let's see. Good stuff all round. I agree. Yes, I agree. agree. So coordinator, let's <clears throat> let's take a look at where he got the idea from. Mm. Since he's in the chat, helped a little off. Uh, okay, so uh, if you really, if you want to learn about programming, Vitoko's pages, basic programming, um, are really detailed. Like he steps through everything, mm. steps through all the code. It's well documented. Ah. Some weeks ago, I had to renew my driving license. It required to approve reflex coordination, vision, and hearing tests. Wow. Coordination tests required you move a needle through a path over a 2D surface using kind of a big scissors using both hands. What? And to increase difficulty, you have to complete in a given amount of seconds. Oh, that's cool. Can you buy one of those as a game? <laughs> it is not a secret that I like paddle games, but using two paddles at the same time is not unusual. Wow. I thought about the game with the same dynamics using both of them, one for horizontal and one for vertical oh, instead of a single really path. That's really neat. Yeah. The game should provide increasing difficulty with more complex paths wow. as the levels are completed. Yeah. That machine is the most retro future. Yes. Have. It is so awesome. Sev 60s, 70s. I love. I've ever seen it. Uh, you know what I love? I love old equipment that's like metal and powder coated. Because right. I work in a lab and we have like these crazy big microscopes that you can move. And they're on these huge powder coated, like, I don't know, like moving. Oh, they're on wheels. Right. And there's just something just so beautiful about industrial equipment that so, is made to like withstand a bomb, you know, like it's just yeah. solid metal and and then the design of them too. Anyway, sorry. See, Vitoko can't play it either. <laughs> no. Look, this is his video and he dies right here. And wham. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, you so do need to hold well them in place. Together, but that playing by yourself, test. that's really good. Jittery yeah. paddles. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, ours were... Well, ours were doing pretty good, fine. actually. 70s vision of the future. I love all that stuff, though. This stuff that's really... Like, they build it like it's supposed to last for the next 60 years. Yes, that is I'd nice. I love it, because so few things are built that way anymore. Uh, oh, yes. Okay. Um, so, the games today were... Jumpman, mm -hmm. which I really liked, but it was very hard. Mm. That was that was the Mario. It's quite impressive, actually. They just very impressive. Even though you know it's it's that Mario sprite and aesthetic that we're all used to, it looked really good. The ten lines looked really good. It looked really really good. Um, I was quite Beatles, surprised. really fun. Really driving fun. game. Um, Coordinator, the hard as hell. Really hard. <laughs> very hard. Yeah. Even with two people. Um, uh, I have a fondness for Sweeper. I played so much Minesweeper on my like Windows 95 uh, PC back yeah. in the day. So 
I do have a fondness for that one for sure. Uh, um, Pick the Star was good. It it was fun. That was challenging. Yeah. Um, I like the concept of losing and gaining points. Yeah. That was really good. Um, tic tac toe. It was tic tac toe. Mm -hmm. It's an implementation in ten lines. Uh, Star Runner. Too easy. <laughs> It was very good. Yeah, it was it, very good. But I made it with, on my second try, I accidentally died immediately. And yeah. then I made it with no deaths on my first try. Mm -hmm. So it was a little too easy for me anyway. Um, Cracky's not in the, in the, oh, that's the 10 line code. Okay. No. okay. Uh, Between the 10 liners, um, Jumpman, I, I just think it's a fantastic looking yeah. game. And it plays well. It's really fun. And... Star Runner's high up there too. It is. And then like I said, Sweeper is is um for me just an I just I love that game. I think I those mean, are my I I mean I know it's three. I yeah. I'm not picking one, but my, those are my three favorites. My I top think. three are Jumpman, Beatles, and Star Runner. Mm. Even though Star Runner is too easy. So it between Jumpman and Beatles, because Beatles it got harder and harder. Which one was it's, Star Runner? Pick the Star was catching the star? Yes. Star okay, Runner Star was Runner the... was yeah. I like Star Runner. Yeah. 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 So I it between because I completed Star Runner. I think it's between Jumpman and Beatles. Um, Jumpman was a little too hard. <laughs> mm. Um, my uh, it's so hard, but it might be Beatles for me because Jumpman was just too hard. Oh, I like Jumpman. So did it I. was I hard, but I barely it was made it amazing. to the second level. Oh what he did like i'm just talking about for fun yeah what i like to play for yeah. implementation jumpman was astounding yeah um same with star runner astounding um for the look and mm -hmm. the playability and the fact that star runner had an ending to it yeah and, yeah um they're all really good and and cracky was great i think that's one of his best oh. games in Ufuto. Jumpman and Beatles are from different categories. Well, yes, they are. Yeah. yeah. Well, we're not judging on categories, but no. just in general. But I can see why. Yeah, Jumpman had a lot more room yeah. for programming. Yeah. But there you go. I picked yeah. Beatles over Jumpman, <laughs> and it's and Beatles is in a probably smaller category. I'm guessing. I don't yeah. have it all in front of me. No, I like Sweeper and I like Jumpman. I like Star Runner too. <laughs> Those three. I mean, they're all yeah. in different categories. They're all a little different. Yeah. Two hour show and seventy lines. Yeah. Ago. There you go. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Very nice. I don't know if I have. Oh, what categories each of them are in? Yeah, I just want to see that. Atari Age looks so different now. <laughs> well, it's all squished. That's why. Oh no, but like they updated. He updated it. Right? Oh like well, a while back, yeah. Oh, I know, but yeah. I think there's a listing. In the menu. Oh, you can okay. see. Gotcha. Oh, there we go. Sure there we go. Oh, you don't break it down there. Okay, let's go to the menu. Uh, where was it? The rules? Or is this? This menu? <laughs> what menu? No... Oh, in your menu. Uh, I've already turned it off. It's yeah. too late. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. We enjoyed them. Oh, you guys can't see this anyway. Boot the ATR. Oh, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah the you're not showing it. That's fine. Um, oh, maybe we can. And then we'll judge between the different categories. Yeah, then. that's a good idea. Um, so let's go back to the Atari 8-bit. Yeah, it's going to freeze again because I... Oh, Bitoko put them on the in the chat there. Oh, okay. That helps. There we are. Okay. Um, so in the 256, there was Jumpman, Sweeper, Star Runner, mm. and Pick the Star. Sweeper. Um, you like Sweeper? I like Sweeper. Out of those, I, I like Sweeper. I, I thought it was really well implemented, Jumpman. too. Jumpman out of the 256 for me. I mean, the Jumpman, both of those, are. I really enjoyed. I thought they were really good. I mean, they're all really good, but... Yeah. If I had highlights. And for 120, Sweeper. there's two of them. Tic-tac-toe and Beatles. Beatles, hands down. 
Um, yeah, between the 120, yeah. And coordinator was the 80. Wow, that's, that's wow. really, really good. There's a lot of gameplay in that. There is a lot of gameplay in that. That's awesome. Um, and it's by itself, so obviously that one. <laughs> but nice. I picked um, Beatles overall um, for playability mm. in terms of you know length of game and fun of the game. For if, if Jumpman was just a tiny bit easier, I think I'd pick Jumpman. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, we're still on a hiatus. Uh, so we're doing shows whenever we can fit them in. Do you have a, do you have a return date no. set? Not yet. No, No, because I there's a big project I'm working on right now for work. It's taking up a lot of my time and I don't know when things are happening with yeah. it. So I can't really schedule something. If yeah. I have a lot of work to do, I wouldn't be able to do the show and then I would just postpone it. Yeah. And I also want to work on a programming exercise, but the work is priority, it's obviously. Taking, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know right now. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. You're, we're officially not here. I <laughs> yeah. mean, Darcy is back and forth, so you'll probably pull him in and do some shows with him when he's when he's around. Yeah, and he's he's willing to go, okay. but usually he would be here on a Friday or on a Friday. Saturday yeah. morning even as well. To do I'm that. not even supposed to be I'm here today. <laughs> yeah. um, <laughs> but we played this today, um, yeah. and there's a whole bunch of 2,600 games, so probably a 2,600 day. There's like a ton of really There's cool, a Legend cool of games. Zelda for the 2,600? Yeah, yeah, there is. It's wow. not bad. Cool. Nobody's here. We're all imagining it. Yeah, exactly. Um, We're just all in the Matrix anyway. There's so. some Lynx game I want to play. There's some 7800 games I want to play. Nice. But there's a bunch of 2600, so that'll that have, probably that have be up. the next next one. Next one. Okay. And I we're not going to play all those in the same day, but yeah. that's the ones that have been building up. Um uh, back to your roots. Always 26. There's way more 2600 games and it's yeah. my favorite system as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, and there's some after darks. We might throw those in. Mm -hmm. We need to finish off Load Runner. We're nowhere near finishing it, but oh well. Now we we get further. Level every to time. thirty, level thirty five, and it goes up to one fifty. Hey, well, well, just we'll we'll whittle our way through it. Yep. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that's it. I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. PRG is way off, but VRG. It's coming in June. June, yeah. Twenty fifth, twenty fourth, was it? Three months. Not that. Something like not that, that close. Yeah. 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 Um, I don't Which have, is fine. Don't have anything planned. I I don't really want to do a panel or anything. Again, no. Uh, no, I'm just so busy right now. I can't even think about no, even possibly fine. doing a panel, even yeah. if they would accept a panel from me. But you never know. If I'm asked, I might do that. Mm -hmm. Oh, first round of Harmony Games uh, ends on April 9th. I don't know if, I mean, there's enough time to maybe fit one in. I think we can. April 9th is still a ways yeah. away. I'm sure we can We can do an After Dark with a couple It would be games. an After Dark because that these are be games we've played before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't want to put pressure on you because I know you're working on a project. Yeah. And and that's taking up a lot of his time. In yeah. fact, he said to me, I'm gonna, he's going to, after this show, he's going to be up. working on it to stay up and work on I it. I may so. not have to stay up late. Looks like something came in. Oh, good. So that's really, really good. Good, good, good. So I might be able to do it and go to bed. Hey, <laughs> at a how normal about time. That? Yeah. <laughs> how about uh, that? And then after that, it's waiting, 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 and then it's either crazy panic mode or, <laughs> and then, yeah, hundred percent dedication, or okay. there might be some more time. Yeah. Who knows? Fair enough. Um, so yeah, if you want to participate in the Atari Homebrew uh, High Score Club, um, Danny VC has posted uh, the link in the mm -hmm. chat. And you can participate in the first nice. two games for high scores. Nobody's okay. put a high score up on what? one of them. What? But there is a high score on the other one. So okay. you have time to beat that okay. still. And you could be number one in the other one right now. Okay. Just have to turn it on and get 10 points in your number. High, high score, score contest. contest. Sorry. Sorry. High score club. High score club's a different thing. There's a lot of different high score things <laughs> out there. High score contest. Yeah. Fair high enough. score contest. Because nice. it is a contest. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. So thanks for hanging out with us, everyone, and hanging out with the kitties and for feeding the kitties. They appreciate it a lot. Yes, uh, they like treats. Dan ABC, RC70, Chelsea Donnie Mao, Vitoko, thank you for making all those amazing games. Awesome. Super fun. 
It's I'm, so much fun every year when, well, yes, doing the nine, uh, the, sorry, the ten line, yeah, uh, contest it's games. Really fun I'm to always, see what you guys come up with. My mind is blown every time. And so. good luck, the Toko. Yes, good um, luck for April first. Yes. Um, hope you. Uh, I do. I'm guessing the eighty competes with all the other eighties. Doesn't have to be Atari. It'd be all the different in each platforms. level. Yeah. yeah. So good luck against mm -hmm. all the other people. Uh, rendered Ghost, uh, Metal Lunar Seven, VVV, VVG Double Down. Yeah, first first time chatting yeah, this, the show. So. Thank you for joining us. Did, That's did awesome. their name come up as first time chatting? Yes. Oh, yeah. Welcome to the show. Yeah. Um, Ivory Tower Collections, who's gone, but they can. Yeah. You can watch Atari it later. Eight hundred. Oh, yeah. Uh, Atari Eight Hundred. Render Ghost. Rules. Thank you. Anthony Nelms, uh, Gamma Dev. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a new name too. I don't mm -hmm. recognize that one. A bunch of new people. Any other ones? Nope, that's it. Thanks for hanging out with yes, us. Yes, we always enjoy. And uh, you can download all the games we played today mm -hmm. in the Atari Age forums. There's links for them. Vitoko has made a um, ATR so you can boot from the menu as long as your basic is working. Mm -hmm. I have to figure out what's going on with my PAL machine, why basic doesn't come up at all um but at least this one does so mm -hmm. there you go um and uh that's it for us uh for the next show just watch in the forums watch on social media mm -hmm. usually facebook is where i post it um for when we play some more stuff might be an after dark might be 2600 games that's what is most likely going to happen so good night everyone yes. and we'll see you next time Bye bye, bye.